Okay, once again, for the online blue viewers, I'm just going to talk about snake anatomy, identifying viscera, viscera referring to internal organs within uh, body cavities. Um, this was influenced by my time shadowing on a necropsy floor. So the first thing is, this is what the snake looks like when you cut it open. In this case is a big python, um, and this is after you remove the fat and can look at the internal organs. One of, actually, one of our biggest problems the first time a snake came around was A, none of the vet students nor any of us who shadowed had any idea about snake anatomy. So it was all guesswork. B, we weren't prepared. Um, C, the snake was still moving. So it was even harder to look at things. That would be scary. Yeah. Don't worry, the head was chopped off. Okay. Different story. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the biggest issue was identifying which was the kidney and which was the testy. We weren't even sure what this was or this. We are just like, you yeah. know. Eventually, we just decided to look at it histologically and the pathologist would figure it out. But anyways, we I learned that snake anatomy is very similar to your usual um, animals as well as humans. The only difference is it's all very linear and kind of shifted to fit in like a straight line. So it's all squeezed in there. Um, like for example, one example I have here is, it's a good one, is like the lung. You can see the right lung is down here, but the left lung is like slightly higher. Or no, the right lung is like lower. And also one lung is smaller than the other. Um, so basically, in identifying, you can, in general, split the organs into different quarters. So in this example, I took from a tech book. They split it from the trachea, esophagus, and heart, to the heart, liver, lung, and stomach, to the stomach, gallbladder, gonads, intestines, pancreas, spleen, and then the fourth quarter is the colon, kidneys, cloaca, hemipenes, and musk glands. Um, as you'll see through the presentation, different uh, references will actually move their quarters, especially I learned with different snakes, the heart can be in different places. For example, if it's an arboreal snake, so look in the trees, the heart will be closer to the head versus if it's an aquatic snake, it'll be closer to the middle of the body, so they don't have to use as much um, blood pressure. The, the water kind of helps. So a visual diagram of splitting it into the four components, as they did here. So the first one, first quarter is the esophagus, trachea, and heart. So this, you can clearly define the heart in the big python video, and you can see that the heart only has three chambers, um, whereas in the smaller snakes, you can see the heart, but it's harder to distinguish the three chambers. And this here is the esophagus, I mean the trachea, which you can tell the trachea because it always has these uh, parallel lines down. Yeah. The cartilaginous rings, I bet you. Cartilaginous like, uh, rings. Mammal. Yeah. And um, here is the thyroid gland as well. Mm -hmm. The esophagus is a little harder to see, closer to the head. Um, there is a space, so that way the esophagus can, ex um, can expand, but it's more clearly seen here as it connects to the stomach and near the liver. And then the second quarter, we have the heart, the liver, the lung, and the stomach. So this is the lung here, and usually when you cut up on a snake, sometimes you can still see air in the lungs. So here's a filled lung air sac. And the liver is lying right beside the lung. So, and the heart, sometimes the heart's really close, but still liver and lung are right beside each other. And then, you know, birds have air sacs. So, you know, like a bird is kind of a reptile in a sense. Yeah. And, uh, so um, first thing I thought of when I saw the third quarter was just the stuffed boy. It has all the things. Um, it's usually like the first place that you can identify things and usually the place that you spend the most time trying to identify what is what because there's so many organs. But one of the easiest things to find is the gallbladder. It's, it's just this green blob. Um, this one, they removed it out, so that way you can see the pancreas and the spleen. They're very close and usually attached to the gallbladder. Um, very small, depending on the snake. The snake, we have a ball pythons, which so they're very small. But the gallbladder is always like this big green shape, and most tissues I've seen, it's always green. Um, I believe it's due to the bile. Mm -hmm. yeah. They told me, yeah. Full of bile, and they need it for fat emulsification. Mm -hmm. So most snakes eat animals, right? And there's a lot of subcutaneous fat and visceral fat in most animals, so they really, you wouldn't be uh, surprised that they eat a gallbladder versus a horse doesn't have a gallbladder. They never eat anything fatty, right? So it's amazing how it's designed. Um, and then, so you have 
it's an expensive mm. liver, the pancreas, gallbladder, spleen. Is that fat at the bottom of that upper picture Yes, there? this is the That's spleen. just adipose fat. tissue. Yeah. That they've removed, and like especially that big snake, they removed it earlier. Yeah, here Amazing. they just pushed off yeah, to the side. Yeah, off to the side. Yeah, and you can see as if you pull like the gallbladder and stuff, you'll see like the spleen. If you just pull the gallbladder up, that'll be like hanging attached. Mm -hmm. Um, next we have the fourth quarter, which consists of the colon, the kidneys, the cloaca, and the gonads. Um, um, but the adrenal glands are pretty hard to see because you lift up the kidneys and they're located right underneath this little like pink slit. That's where the adrenal glands are located and they're both kidneys. And like I said, the um, gallbladder is usually a nice marker because mm -hmm. you can tell, you can just kind see it. a nice it. little landmark. Yeah, and then you can determine from there. And in the end, we actually found out Googling it right after the, um, <laughs> that this was the kidneys, okay. and this is the testes. Okay, so the kidneys are definitely kind of almost like liver color. Yeah, like. they're liver color. And, they and the testes like are whitish. Okay, right? Is yes. that the testes up there? Yes, yeah. this is the up testes, there. and you can see it here. Oh, okay, even gotcha. better yeah, yeah. comparison. Yeah, okay, so it's whitish. Um, yeah. yeah. So also they have these little mouth and mouth. And then last is the tail region. Um, so in here you just, well this was actually a reptile magazine and they listed this as their tail region whereas the person listed just, you know, the um, intestines as well as the hemes penis, just sticking out in this case, but this is their penis here. And the vestigial pelvic limb, um, and then you have your large intestine here which goes in the cloaca and they actually don't have a urinary bladder. So um, the urine from the kidneys go directly into one portion of this area. And the same with birds. Yeah. Birds do not have a bladder. And so. Wow. And this one is the link if you want to see the link. That third one down there yeah. is a live leak? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Questions? So was your study um, or your necropsy of multiple snakes or just one snake? Um, it was, they had like different species come in, and in this case they had a client who had a, um, it was a ball python who they thought was dead, and so they brought it in, um, turns out it was still kind of alive, or it tried to attack, but, so they cut off the head, and when we did the necropsy we found out it was dying, um, he was bleeding out from the heart, so it was going to die eventually, but that was the first instance. So you removed the head, that's a little more PC. You yeah, remove the head. Yeah. Or decapitate it. Decapitate. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on, okay? Because we got one more.